Do you love power creep? Do you love the discussion about power creep and balance at top tier jets? Well, this is going to be the video for you today right now because we're going to be discussing this thing, the Saab 105 OE at length and a whole host of other issues presented by other aircraft introduced at later times, which makes older content harder for, I guess, regular people to consume or at least to play. So, Ash, what the bloody hell are you talking about? There's no such thing as power creep in War Thunder. <coughs> <clears throat> Do I need to say any more? Do I need to point at screen any more? This is a Harrier, right? A Harrier is fantastic aircraft, number one, but only because of a little thing called short-range air-to-air missiles, right? The SRAM is a f bloody fantastic system, a little too broken in my opinion. Essentially, this has broken the battle ratings between ATO and your later sort of bracket, that being, you know, even Tenno. Now, a while ago, I made a video dedicated to power creep in War Thunder. In fact, the Saab 105 OE being a fantastic addition to War Thunder isn't necessarily the concern here. It's the fact that this thing's a premium, and the 105 doesn't necessarily get the better ordnance. It's usually the other way around. It's usually the worse vehicle gets put in the premium line, and then the better vehicle gets put in tree. If there weren't enough complaints about the SK-60B, well, you can have an upgraded version. The Saab 105 basically rectifies a whole host of different issues with thrust, output, avionics, uh, fuel systems, etc, etc. And it puts basically the same missiles, the RB-24Js, as the Draken on this particular system. And I thought, oh, that's okay, cool. Can I equip anything else? Nope, you can only have the RB-24Js uh, RB at least equipped. I mean, you can have bombs and so on and so forth, but there is no... You know, proxy fuse, beautiful guided rocket, like there is on the SK-60B at rank 7.3. These are the RB-05 rockets. You can guide these, you can do anything with them. You can shoot aircraft down, you can shoot helicopters down, you can shoot tanks. Fantastic little system. I haven't figured out how they work correctly, but I've seen the videos on the internet, and I'm pretty damn sure that these are immense fun. I've seen a lot of clips from other creators and a lot of other people in the community. And again, this is 7.3 rank 5, and this... People were using this to counter another aircraft, which basically killed off another type of aircraft. Now, back in the day, this thing was introduced, the F-89D, rank 5 battle rating 7.7. .7. Now, you may notice a, a bit of a pattern here. There's always a, a vehicle to leapfrog, another vehicle to leapfrog, another vehicle, and the, the, the pattern goes on. Essentially, this thing was introduced because Gaussian wanted to make a bit of coin. Rightly so, right? They are free to play, they can charge what they want. This thing killed off something called 262s. Now, 262s were out in force because, well, they, they were really a fantastic jet at the time. And this thing at 6.7 doesn't face the, any other, the other issues with the other 262s at 7.7, 8.0 and 7.0 that this thing faces. Let alone the fact that the ME163 is 8.7, right? Um... It's, it's, it's a really sort of bizarre scenario where you have World War II tech still fighting, and this has been the argument for years, World War II tech fighting Cold War stuff, right? And what what's more evident? The fact that the ME163B0 with four um, MG151s, right, is the same battle rating as the G91R3, which can actually have some decent, you know, stuff. It can get Nords. But again, I don't know. It's, it's sort of a bit of a weird spot. Britain doesn't really have much in terms of overpowered things at the 8073 lineup. The Seahawk was a fantastic aircraft, well, until recently, when they accidentally bumped a zero up onto the thrust on this thing. It became an absolute monster for about three or four days. I didn't necessarily get to pick it up because I don't actually own one, but suffice to say that it did break Matchmaker for a few days. Uh, Russia is in that weird situation where they're fine at any battle rating. They really don't. The only aircraft that I really can consider terrible is the LA-200. It's not exactly the greatest thing out there. Although back in its heyday when it was first introduced and the discussion about radar and, and so on and so forth was predominantly on the field, the LA-200 was a good example of that. Italy is in the unfortunate position of being going from 6.3 to 8.3 it jumps up considerably even though they do have a vampire and they can get down to the f-104s at top tier they're kind of limited for what they can do it's either you get the starfighter or you get the ys 7.7 .7 for the rogans and the md uh, 452s and the f-84s that's fantastic france at top end is fantastic only because of one thing mirage 3c the Intendard is also fantastic too there's not really much to worry about they've also got the Fatuas. but that's not really the issue here the issue here is the SK-60B. 7.3, it was made to counter other aircraft. It's a nice addition. It's a trainer aircraft, right? 
But the Saab 105 essentially upgrades this thing, does quite a bit more in terms of kilometer an hour. So you're going from 792 to 947. And keep in mind that these have the same missiles as the Draken. Now, the Draken has the RB-24Js. And then we have a premium version, because why the hell not? Now, if you thought the 105 was particularly interesting, here, 105... RB24J times two. That's all you can get. You can get a bunch of other ordnance with it, some bombs, some multi-purpose weapons. You can't equip the other Swedish rockets. You can't equip the, the gun pods. You can't equip any of the other the tiny Tims or anything with it. So again, this thing is going to be particularly pathetic, I guess. But this thing should really be the premium. And I tell you why. Because usually they put the premium vehicles to slightly lesser, and then they put the better vehicle in the tech tree. Well, they haven't done that this time. This is the Saab 105 OE, and as far as I know, th this thing is essentially just a broken vehicle, right? This is blatant pay to win in War Thunder. There is no doubt about that right here and right now. It doesn't really matter because you can get the same RB-05As as on the SK-60B, the fantastic missile. Uh, the guided rocket, sorry, that can kill tanks, helicopters, planes, and anything you basically fire it at. And it can get the RB-24Js, right? But you can also equip the gun pods if you're really, really sort of special, okay? Now, I probably will be taking this load out if I actually get this aircraft. But let's just say that at 8.0, rank 5, 30mm cannons, and two missiles that are the same as the, the J-35 at 8.0 rather than 10.7... I understand it's like a subsonic aircraft, and I understand it's probably going to have its limitations, but holy shit, this puts into perspective, right? Power creep is, you, you can't tell me power creep is not a thing when you have stuff like the F-89, the Harrier, you know, stuff like that. And now you have this? <laughs> Cousin, what are you smoking? You know, it's a fantastic patch to end the year. I know this is the dev server, but seriously, either swap them around or don't really do anything. Like, it doesn't make sense to lock this behind a paywall because it is objectively better than any other aircraft. It's essentially better than the J-29D. That is what I'm trying to say. It's a, it's a lower battle rating, right? How, how? 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 And we're not even going to show any gameplay today. Why? You're making... You're making jets a worse place and a worse it's the place that i also have to grind i have 30 aircraft left to unlock or 33 aircraft left to unlock because every patch you add a new aircraft and i have to grind another 280,000 or another 170,000 and then another 390,000 and then the a7d so objectively the best aircraft that you can get your hands on that isn't a premium is probably this thing and I guess this really just ends the year on a bit of a sour note. It just it, it just expunges what top tier balance is. Now, you can argue in the comments, and I'd like to hear your opinion on this particular aircraft, right? We have yet to see it on action. In fact, I'm probably going to go do a quick couple of games and see if I can get some gameplay for you in a separate video just to see if this thing's actually effective. But, again, it's only really a first look at the aircraft. We won't know until the thing hits the live server what is going to happen with this aircraft, right? Gosh, for the love of God. Think about something before you implement it into War Thunder. Oh wait, you hadn't. You implemented the Harrier for one reason only, and I know what that reason was. You're, you're just ruining top tier matches. When was the last time you saw a 262? When was the last time you saw a Meteor? People skip the jets and go for F4s. Why? Because that is the best thing in the bloody game. People skip everything else for MiG-21s. You know, and 104s. This is only enabling that to happen even quicker. Are you actually planning on implementing rank 7 aircraft? Rank 8 aircraft, maybe. Because at this rate, you may as well start decompressing even further. Your 10.7 isn't high enough. You haven't satisfied enough people. And I really, that's all I have to say on this thing. All right, we're going to cover this in more depth in a gameplay video later. Uh, but we'll probably take it out and uh, have some b-roll to put over this video because I've been ranting for too long already. Anyway, this is the dev server. Things are subject to change. I hope they will change. They probably won't because the patch is probably going to come out next week. My name is Ash. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.